I set up my new weather station, um, sort of. For now, I just wanted it up and out there to get it working and uh, help us to follow the weather patterns and predict the weather better. Let me take you inside and show you what's going on today. Well, this is hard to read on this camera. It is 95 degrees outside, 92 in my RV. We have, oh, the humidity's down. It was 87% this morning when I first set this up. It's only 55% now. But the uh, sun is burning it off nicely for us. Um, it's cloudy. Going to get cloudier, I guess, from what that shows. 3 p.m., September 11th. Uh, I don't, don't know how to read the barometric pressure yet or the trending. And we got 1.6 mile an hour wind, and uh, coming out of the east, it's not very breezy, and it's disgustingly, horribly hot. So, I just got back from town with my mom and dad. We went and uh, went to a restaurant and took our time, had a good meal, and uh, shopped a little bit just to get in air conditioning places. And now I'm sweating profusely. So I'm going to hook up the um, air conditioner for my parents in the camper. Well, I'm in the camper, and it's a little bit better condition at 85 degrees, where my parents are. But um, it's still way too hot. And actually, the humidity in here is horrible. You can see the humidity on the mirror back there, so it's way more humid in here. I don't know if you can see the gray, the humidity out there. You can see the moisture in the meadow. I can actually see it rolling through almost like, like a fog. I got my baby generator on and I ran the cord from the air conditioner to the outside of the camper. And I'm going to fire this up for them for a while to cool it down inside. Well, the air conditioner is running. And <laughs> my dad asked, is that thing going to run that air conditioner? But it's only, um, I think, what is it, 4 amps? And the AC does up to 6, 7, 8 amps. Or the, uh, and the generator does between 6 and 8 amps. So it works. It does work. And it's blowing nice cold air in here. Oh, little generator's working hard now. That's the um, most steady load I've ever had on it. Uh, it's still under guarantee period. I got the 90 day extended. So, it's a good time to test it out now while it's under warranty. But again, it's only 500 watts draw on an 800 uh, watt generator. So it should be able to handle it. My Harbor Freight solar panels are all that they have for power in the camper. So it's not enough to power the air conditioner over there. And I'm leaving it for them for their comfort. Although my camper's 92 degrees and theirs was 85, but they're older than me, so I'm giving them the comfort. There's not even any breeze. It is so calm and hot. So it's not going to be a productive day today. The only thing we're doing today is trying to keep hydrated and keep cool. Um, my parents are living proof of the fact that Michiganders cannot handle the heat. It's just a fact. I can't handle the heat. They can't handle the heat. And um, we've all been pretty much knocked out today. There's a little bit of breeze coming, but there's nothing going through that, that motorhome. Well, somebody had asked me where to put my pine shavings. And it was a bit of a sarcastic mocking comment, honestly. But I uh, took a trip into the dollar store the other day and got this nice looking Tupperware type container for my pine shavings. It looks good to me. That's perfect. 
I still have to get my toilet paper rack on the wall, but hey, it works. I think it looks fine, and everything fits nicely. There doesn't the toilet doesn't bump the uh, container, and it works all right. Sorting my clothes out, I uh, took everything I own, including my winter clothes. Every single thing I had was moldy. So I cheated today and spent $21 at the laundromat and washed all my clothes. Now I've got to hang them up. Well, that's one way to do the move. Nice and fresh and clean. But the camper had got moldy through and through while I was gone on vacation. So uh, everything, everything had to be washed. Oh, my mom's out here doing dishes using the uh, water supply that's right here. Rainwater dishwashing. What do you think of rainwater dishwashing? It's pretty much like camping. Yeah. Yeah, we had to take everything out of the camper because of all the mold from when I was on vacation. And so we're doing everything out here for now. And it's still quite humid out. Chickens are happy. Been moving them every, every day or so, just about six foot at a time. And I discovered if I just lift, if I move these two boards right here, and I lift on the handles and back, uh, walk backwards, I can actually move this without moving all the other boards and stuff. So that's working out well. You can see they're leaving a burnt path in the grass as we go. Well, my parents didn't enjoy the off-grid living experience as fully as they thought they would. They wanted a uh, real shower. So, they rented a room tonight, and uh, actually since it's 93 degrees outside right now, uh, I'm with them, because <laughs> there's AC in here. <laughs> so much for off-grid living. <laughs> <laughs>